Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty's Side. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful day. I appreciate it. Oh, here's another article from Boldy. Boldy? Boldy, Boldy? No, I think it's bold.com. Here's why the most amazing women are always single. Let's just get through this. Single AF. Yeah, I bet. Uh, we're smart, hot, and have a ton to offer the world, particularly a boyfriend. Why are you single then? So why is it so damn hard to find a good one? Maybe it's you. Um, before we go any th further, I want to say that I have not read this yet. So this is all going to be like my natural reaction. Uh, this will all be what's off the top of my head. So, just as a little warning to you. Let's keep going. We're on the lookout for love at every available opportunity, but somehow we always come up short. It's not like our lives aren't already amazing. Then why do you need to add complications to it? And we never settle for less than the very best, but seriously, what gives? That's your problem. That's your problem. You've had Chad's and Tyrone's. You think that's what you deserve forever and always. And uh, you have been what's called alpha widowed. And you don't know it. You're not very aware. Here's why most amazing women are always single. Our lives are full even without love. Well, if your life is full, then why are you complaining about this? Why, why is it such a big deal? Why do you need to add someone else into your life if your life is full? We might not have a date to every party. We might sit at singles table at every wedding we attend. <laughs> Aww. But we're still living lives that are full and content with or without a romantic partner. Then why are you complaining about it? Why is this such a big deal? Why are you writing an article? It must mean something pretty big to you if you're going out of your way to write an article like this. We don't necessarily need to add to the life we're already happy with. You don't sound very happy about it. We're too busy being happy to notice we're s single half the time anyway. Okay, you know, you, in this one little, what is it, two, three sentences, you've talked about how happy you are, yet you're complaining about being single AF. We're all the wiser from trial and errors. <laughs> Did I call it? Did I call it? She's ridden the CC. She knows what? Oh, man. <laughs> she knows what's up. We meet new people. We date and we even get our hopes up from time to time. We've tried and failed. And because of this, we know exactly what we want and what we don't. No, you don't. And that's not a bad thing, despite what many people say. We're not about to accept less than that just to get a date. <sighs> See, the problem is, is that you got with high caliber guys that can get women anytime they want and don't want to settle down because they can always get younger and hotter. And you're not it. You know, you may have been a six or a seven and the guy is a nine. Well, he's, he's not going to settle for you. He's not going to settle for anybody because he can get anybody whenever he wants. And so, let's see, what was it? We've tried and failed because of this. we know exactly what we want. Yeah, you want a bad boy that you can tame and that you can change and mold and into your little image. And bad boys don't do that. They don't mold. They, they go somewhere else. And so they are who they are, and you love that, and you're attracted to that, but they don't want to stay with you.
Three, sponsored. The best dating slash relationships advice on the web. Check out... Oh, it's sponsored. Ah, fuck that. What are you doing? Get out of here. We don't need a guy to feel complete. Yet, here you are, bitching about it. In the absence of love, we're still happy with who we are and where we're at in life right now. We're constantly find. Obviously, you're not if you're making an article about this. We're constantly finding ways to better ourselves and grow as a person. <laughs> yes, people can grow into relationships too, but there's something slightly different about getting to know and improving ourselves with no one but us in the equation. <sighs> but you're not improving yourself. That's the, that's the thing. You want Chad, but Chad doesn't want you. And you don't realize that. You think it's, ooh, it's men and their dogs. But really, it's you that needs to take a look in the mirror. That's what's going on here. We've got plenty of people who love us already, but not in that way. Amazing single women are happy without love for a number of reasons. But one of the main reasons is because we're not just sitting around waiting, hoping, and itching to meet a new guy at all times. Yeah, because you don't have to sit around to meet new people. Guys fall into your lap. Anywhere you go, you can meet a guy. You can get laid. A guy has to do the work. So even you just sitting around and waiting on your little fucking app or whatever, like, you can get guys. It's not that hard for you. And you... This author obviously does not realize that. Instead, we're busy catching up with friends, spending time with family, and keeping up with the relationships we have here and now. Love with the right guy would only be a bonus, not a necessity. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. We're bossing our careers. Some of the most fierce and successful women are single, and it's because instead of dwelling on what we don't have, we focus on what we do have. What's this article all about? It's dwelling on what you don't have. What are you talking about? Focusing more on the here and now lets us fully appreciate the life we're living and the rewards we reap because of it are major. The rewards we reap because of it are major. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, well, you keep thinking that and you're going to be lonely at 52 years old with, you know, 31 cats eating cat food. You keep you keep thinking that. Our independence and strength wards off players. <laughs> it doesn't ward them off. No. They just they're not going to waste their time with you. You're not worth their time. They can go get someone easier. With less headache, less drama, less money spent on you. They don't care. They want to get, guys want to get laid. And if you're going to make that difficult, bye bye. Next. We, a lot of players and morons who are only looking to get laid or aren't ready to handle someone as amazing as us. I think it's supposed to be we meet a lot of players and morons. Yeah. They know... Who edited this thing? We... Or they know better than to get their egos burned by dynamic women. They don't deserve. <laughs> Please. We're a challenge to get. And that's the problem, too. Don't be a challenge. Why are you... Why do you gotta, like make this a game and make it challenging and blah 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 what the fuck dude why you bitches man men know that getting our interest requires genuine and thoughtful effort a skill that's seriously lacking lacking in modern dating culture well you guys you ladies cause the modern modern dating culture and that's another video if someone isn't willing to step up to the plate we'll happily sit at home until someone Worthy actually steps up. Wait, wait a minute, wait. You set up here. Where is it? Where is it? We're not just sitting around waiting, hoping, and itching. Uh, wh Which one is it? What is it? 
You just contradicted yourself in your own fucking article. What do you... Oh my god, no no wonder you're single as fuck. We won't just accept what's put before us. We want someone who will work for it, just like us. But you just said you won't work for it. Ah, oh. Ugh. Oh. If someone isn't willing to step up to the plate, then you do it. You step up to the plate. Quit being stupid. We're holding out for someone worth our investment. The main reason the amazing ones are always single is because we know what we have to offer. Then why don't you offer it? Why don't you put it up there? What's with the games? What's with... Oh, my God. And we're not wasting our time with guys we know it won't work with. If you know that, why are you even going beyond step one? What's the point? Exactly. We'd rather be alone and living our lives happily, but you're not in every other way than testing the iffy waters with someone we know isn't going to make us happy. The only person that's going to make you happy is you. Why do you not understand that? God, this 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 bitch is fucking stupid. 5, 10, and 50 years down the road. 5, 10, and 50 years down the road, you're still going to be fucking single because of this stupid shit. Good God. This was fucking... Oh, man. Who is this by Andrea Wesley? Andrea, you're fucking stupid. This is dumb. Get the fuck over yourself. God, bitches are so stupid. <laughs> Someone else doesn't make you happy. You make yourself happy. And stop with these games. And stop with the contradictions in your own stupid article. Get out of my face. Out of my face, bitch. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Comment, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, if you want. You know? God damn. Anyway, I love you all, even you. Fucking, where is it? Dummy Andrea. Man, that was tough. Ugh. Anyway, talk to you all later. Bye.